Is it the battery or do we have something else going on here? Perfect. <laughs> Most of you know that the battery is the heart of electrical issues, whether you have lights flickering or even the vehicle not starting. But it could be related to something like an alternator, a starter, even serpentine belts and tensioners, which you can get all at 1AAuto.com. The first thing you want to do whenever you have an electrical issue is check out the battery. Make sure it's charged properly. Test it with a tester, see if it's up to par, and check the connections, make sure they're nice and clean and tight. Underneath the vehicle, you're going to find most of your starters. They're going to be close to the engine and the transmission bell housing, just like this one. Now, the symptoms you're going to find with a starter that is either faulty or starting to go is you're going to find a clicking noise when you go to start the key. You may just get a click or you may not get any noise at all. Now, you're not going to get a chattering click, most likely, like we had outside. But just one click or no click. And in emergency situations, what you could do is have someone with a hammer and just give the starter a tap, just like that, not too hard, while you're turning the key. If the vehicle starts, then the internals of the starter are going and it's time to replace that starter. Make sure you get that starter at 1AAuto.com. Now let's talk about the alternator on this vehicle. It's located right up on top and it's driven by the drive belt. And as it spins, it's going to send current to the battery that's going to maintain the battery. Some of the symptoms you're going to find with a alternator that's faulty is you may get a little battery light on the dash. I know it seems weird. You'd think if the battery light's on the dash that it's just a problem with the battery when in actuality it's the alternator or the charging system is not performing properly. You can also have some flickering lights. You may notice that the dash lights are flickering or even the headlights are flickering. It's more common that you'll notice the interior lights flickering. Outside, you're probably going to have people driving around noticing it way before you do. And the last symptom you may find with the alternator is the vehicle doesn't start and the battery is dead. You replace a battery and within a week or even two weeks, the battery is dead again and it's because the alternator is not charging properly. It may be charging minimally, but not enough. Looking at the alternator here, you can see the belt goes around the pulley. That's going to be spinning as the engine's running, and then the housing of the alternator with the air fins that's going to keep the alternator cool while the engine's running. And we have a connection right here, and that's going to go to the battery positive for the battery. And then there's another connector over here, and that's what it's going to use to regulate the voltage for the alternator. And because we need the alternator to spin to charge the battery, we need a good serpentine belt and tensioner. If the belt is not spinning properly, it could cause the alternator to not charge properly. If the belt actually gets thrown from the vehicle, whether there's a pulley that's seized up or even the alternator pulley seized up, it's going to cause the belt to fall off, and that could be your issue. You may think just replacing the belt is going to fix your problem when you need an alternator or even a pulley. Now, if you need any of these parts, you can get these at 1AAuto.com. Click the link in the description. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe to our channel, ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, you can get all those problems. <sighs> so close. And because we need the alternator to spin properly for <laughs> to charge the battery. <laughs>